Well, high five o'clock crowd. How are you doing? Oh my goodness. Well, yep, I am. I'm Ellen Wesley. I am uh, from Chicago. And uh, I'm in between husbands. <laughs> None of them are mine. None of them are mine. <laughs> it's more economical. You know, husbands can be very expensive. And, um, and you can tell I'm a little older. I am. Uh, that's good, actually, for a show like this, because I know math. That's right. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> it's important. It's important. Got to be respectful. But, you know, I mean, it is kind of good being older. I like, like, for the younger comedians, I'm a walking public service announcement for you don't have to die at 30. <laughs> and in fact, I just had a birthday. I'm so excited. And I I turned 69 last week. Thank you very much. That means I'll be doing 69 all year. <laughs> what? Oh my God. But it's good, you know, it's kind of good to be older because I know what I like. I like coffee, I like shopping, and I like a battery powered device by my bed. <laughs> And sometimes I do, you know, I do, you know, shows sometimes, mostly open mics in Chicago with a lot of people who are really afraid to turn 30. But I tell them, you know, my sex life is different than yours. But it's a lot more simple. It just involves which battery powered device I need to use, that's all. But, you know, I mean, getting older is weird though, right? Because stuff either swells up, it hangs down, it falls off. You know, and you lose stuff, Ugh, you lose stuff. There are some stuff that's good to lose, like your smell. <laughs> I do lose that sometimes, but I have all kinds of tricks, you know, because you gotta, the trick is to grow old gracefully. And I have a job, I have a very good job. Um, I'm an emergency room doctor. Ooh. That's why I'm not going to be asking you how you are, because I already know. <laughs> and I have ADD. I have all these things wrong with me. I have lots of IQ points, but they don't always work together as a team. <laughs> you know, I am smart. It turns out I am smart, just very twisted. <laughs> and, and thank you, because you are seeing this show. It's brought to you by Zero Milligrams of my ADD medicine, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so much more entertaining without my medicine, you know? But, I, you know, ADD, for somebody anxious like me, I, I'm calmest when there's, like, crazy drama going on. And, you know, blood, if somebody was going to try to die all of a sudden, I mean, I get really calm then. I don't want you to die, you know, but I know right who is and how close to death you are. Oh, and I can just calmly be nice. And they pay me to be nice to people. They do. But, you know, being an ER doctor is sort of like a very, very, very high-stakes cocktail waitress. <laughs> Only I do the ordering. And I decide what they need, when they need it, and how much. <laughs> it's very cool. Well, and so I'm, I'm on the market. Yeah, I am in between husbands and I'm on the market. And you know, I'm on the apps. Oh, oh that's very frightening at my age. You know what they send me, you know? Dead guys. <laughs> I'm a doctor. I know how close to dead people are. Come on. Oh, it's just frightening. It's terribly frightening. But you know, and the one guy, you know, it was on J-Date. I'm all excited. I've got to be the only person that can get sent an ex-con on J-Day. It's true. It's true. I thought he was fat, but it was solid muscle and everything and no neck. You know, no, not the guy to piss off. Oh, my. But, uh, but it's, I'm, it's, I'm hopeful. You know, I mean, I get to do comedy so that I can practice walking in heels, practice dressing up, and I'm so excited about that. But, and then I'll tell you because I do know math, I do, and it's getting close to five minutes. And I want to leave you with a part of a public service announcement, and it is this. 
always remember that a funeral is not a sad event. No. It's an opportunity for me to pick up young men. Thank you.